Well, ladies and gentlemen, once again, our very favorite time of the week where Dr. Stanstall and I, Julie Morris, talk with you, engaged, intellectual, cyber cool audience about all the things that, yes, are on our minds, of course, but they're probably on your minds as well. And that is this. How do we engage in and be in and plan for the world of tomorrow? and all the things of cybersecurity that are entailed in it. So Dr. Stahl, how are you today? I'm doing great. Thank you, Julie. It's 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 great to be here, as always. Yeah, um, it's, I was running across something the other day that I, I, I thought would be a good starting point for us. It was, it was in fact, uh, a, a LinkedIn article dealing with the fact that people, when they're looking for things, you know, answer, everybody wants answers. So, you know, don't talk to me about big picture stuff and all of that. Uh, give me the three things that I absolutely positively must do right now before I do anything else, because it will save my life. I mean, that's an overstatement, of course. And I, I thought about that. And it reminded me of a quote of H.L. Mencken's, uh, the author, humorist, uh, you know, who says, for every complex problem, there's an answer that's clear, that is simple, and wrong. So I thought we'd talk about that today. What do you think? I really like that idea. Um, but I also like simplicity, Dr. Stahl. And so what, of course, you're telling me I can't have simplicity. Why do you take simplicity away from me, Dr. Stahl? Why? Why must you? <laughs> well, because I'm a mean ogre of a person, <laughs> right? Uh, well, it, it, it goes back to what we talked about last time, you know, like a door like this is cracked open only, you know, five or six times in humanity. We're living in a very complex world right now, uh, the, and and cybercrime is a piece, a major piece of it, because uh, the complexity is so much the result of computers and communication. We're now, you know, it, you used to want to rob a bank, you had to be at a bank. Now you can be anywhere, twenty four by seven, and you can attack that bank. You know, I mean, that's that's the reality we live in. It's it's really complicated. Yeah. Add to that. Now, here's the critical piece. People have read Daniel Kahneman's uh, Thinking Fast, Thinking Slow, that whole sort of stuff. When you're dealing with complex problems, you got to think slow. It's a different part of our brains. And this is all neurology that works. No. It takes more energy to do that. So we're adapted to not think slow. We're adapted to want simple solutions here we are at a time in history where a door like this is cracked open five or six times. You know, we don't have simple answers. So we don't have simple answers because we've never been here before. And mm -hmm. if we try to turn around looking for the easy button, we are going to be in a big world of hurt because yeah. that easy button is a big fat lie right now because we have to invent it first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well said. I mean, we what are we, we we are in the process of inventing it. Uh, mm -hmm. an attorney friend of mine talks about a, a real cybersecurity challenge, which is that uh, boards of directors mm -hmm. of companies that go through breaches and all are being sued. Not just the board is being sued, but as individuals. I mean, that that that, that shield uh, is, is being penetrated and. The, the way he describes it, you know, I mean, right now it's a mess. I mean, yeah. boards, frankly, are frightened. And he goes on to say, you know, five years, eight years, 10 years, we'll have reduced this to practice. We'll have understood it. We'll have made it simple. Yep. But we got to walk through the valley of the shadow of death first. You know, yeah. it's that kind of thing. Here yeah. we are. Yeah. It's like if we tried to take a simplistic approach to a virus that we didn't understand or any kind of illness we didn't understand. Yeah. You yeah. can't tackle big, complex illness, you know, or you can't build a house with a hammer because you wanted that easy button. It just will not mm. be a house and you yeah. will be completely vulnerable. So mm -hmm. there's the bad news. But I think the good news is something that you bring up really well. And this is that we are a part of this invention. We are a part of this. It is an yeah. incredible time to be alive. And so for the people who are listening to this and in the middle of leading really complex situations, I love mm -hmm. that reminder, Dr. Stahl, in a very practical fashion that you have to force yourself to pause and to yeah. do the hard work of thinking, but our brains don't want to do that because they are resource conserving and one, running from the complex will be mm -hmm. such a disservice to you. Yeah. So you have to change the way you think. 
Mm-hmm. So, Absolutely. leader, we wish you well. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, we, we should. Well, and 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 the there are ways to do that as as well, and, mm-hmm. and we can get into some of those, of course, uh, subsequently. But just the the very first phase is is awareness, is just that you know, just what are the habits of thought that we have uh, that are getting us into trouble? You know, it's it's Mark Twain's quote. You know, it's it's not what people are. Uh, you know, would, would, never mind. I'll I'll come back to whatever <laughs> Mark Twain said. Uh, it's not what people don't know that get them into trouble. It's what they do know that just ain't so. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it's it's that. And if if you're a business person, it's it's like you know, well, my IT people are managing security. Well, in part they are, but first, they can't manage all of it because one of your biggest weaknesses or is a phishing attack on your people. So, yeah. you know, yeah, you want to hold IT accountable to manage their peace, but don't think that's all of it. Yeah. Other myth. I don't have anything they want. Well, bullshit, frankly. Yeah. They want it because it's money. And, yeah. you know, just like a thief walking down the street, sees your unlocked car and sees, you know, a handbag in it or something is going to open mm-hmm. up the car and take the handbag because it's there. It's sitting, waiting, waiting to happen. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Most businesses don't know what the handbags are. Yeah. So, and they don't. Yeah, and I mean, well, and the, the challenging part is too, that the consequences of all of this are so dire that yeah. it could be the thing that shuts your business down worse than the economy, worse than the stock market, worse than all of these things. Yeah. Yeah. And you may not even know it is happening to you right now because your employees are getting text messages right now from scammers. Yeah. Your employees are getting emails that are getting yeah. so good. Even the cyber pros have to be careful. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well said. It, it's it is that, and this is where one can shift from an understanding of complexity back to the simple as best we know it now. But it's keep that as best we know it now. Don't think, oh, I've got it. This is the truth. I mean, there are certain basics we can do. Uh, not to solve the problem, and this is another piece because it's complex. We don't solve complex problems. We solve simple problems. You know, I want to, uh, you know, run electricity from this room to that room. That's a simple problem. Run a wire, you know, yes. whatever. Uh, com- these are complex problems. Yes. We don't solve them. We manage them. So that's well, that's the first thing. Just start yes. managing. Yeah. Start and then managing. What does that look like? That. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, um, so one of those things of management, so Dr. Stella, I hate to totally derail this, but we had a really incredible discussion last night around biometrics and part Mm -hmm. of the challenge there of managing the data we collect and being responsible for that. I mean, that's very real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also very complex, but you have to begin to do it. So what does that mean? You manage it, first of all. So first you identify it. Where is it? What is it? You know, is this biometric data we got to protect? Is this, oh, this isn't biometric. We don't care about that. But wait a minute, maybe it's credit card data. We also care about that. So yeah. first, identify all the stuff you got to collect in the ver- and, and manage in the various buckets. Look at how you're protecting it. You know, yes. are you training your people? Are you uh, have antivirus? Do you have firewalls in the right place? You know, I mean, what do you have network intrusion management? Mm-hmm. Well, whatever that is, you know, if you're not technical. But, you know, these are things you have to begin to look at then you got to be able to detect when it goes bad you know when something's happening to it you got to be able to respond to that and and recover and and make sure that it, it doesn't go out the door yes. um part of that's you know obviously encryption and and, and stuff like that mm-hmm. and and so what you just heard was I, we started this program you can't say five things i just named five things mm-hmm. but don't think of it as the end of the game mm, right think of it as the beginning of the process Absolutely. Very and similar like, to what we, I'm sorry, go right ahead, please. I was just going to say, then go down the rabbit holes as, as they surface, manage it, lead, manage, you know, that's the simple answer. Absolutely. So one of the five things that I do like that we do and, you know, I mean, we all do these little listicles and whatnot, but they, we have five things that we have that you can discover for yourself. How hackable are you listener? And so one of those five things is, have you frozen your credit? And so some of the early data that we're getting from this incredible quiz that we call, again, how hackable are you? You can find it on the Secure Village 
website just right there on the homepage. And we do hope you take this quiz, but that seems to be an area that we are seeing that people don't have done. And talk about the very foundation that you you need to start from and then grow from there. Mm -hmm. But boy, knowing that that's a vulnerability, that's horrifying. Yeah. No, and 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 the the freeze your credit piece is another illustration of the complexity. Yes. When you start thinking about the complexity of <laughs> you go into the supermarket, you give them your credit card, that information goes all over right. uh, the stores, the banks, the credit reporting companies, all the companies, all the businesses, the government and all that has all of our information. And, you know, it's complex. How do we help manage it? Well, one of the ways is one of the things that we as people can do, as opposed to saying business, you do this or you do that or yes. you do the other thing, because no matter how good they are, and frankly, they're terrible, <laughs> at it um but no matter how good they are they're not going to be able to protect it completely so what's a simple thing we can do go freeze our credit how do yeah. you do that take the quiz download the guide the guide tells you how to freeze your credit at the four major credit bureaus yes ladies and gentlemen you heard that right there are four major credit bureaus that do not even ask you if they can have this open. So there's opt in, opt out. So that's a rabbit hole that I would like to dive into. How <laughs> dare they let my daughters, my two children have vulnerable credit as an opt in. I have to opt into having it protected and having it frozen. Oh, talk about yeah. one of those things that could get you real riled up. But another thing that you just mentioned is this idea of what's being done with your data. Who's profiting mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we are going to collectively dive down the rabbit hole on that piece tomorrow with an extraordinary panel of folks that Secure the Village event is being hosted. So by the time you hear this, you will either have a chance to dive in with us <laughs> on Zoom um, tomorrow night, Thursday evening, or catch the recording. We're going to have it on podcast, but there's nothing like watching it live because sometimes you have all the best intentions of listening to a recording and you just don't get around to it. So we invite you to listen live. Because some, there's a lot that people are creating wealth for themselves and political agendas that are navigating around your personal information. Yep. You need to know what's happening. Yeah, I, that 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 is 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 so true. You you look at all of the websites that when I go do a search, whatever, or I go to a web page, all the other websites that are collecting data or sending me data or storing data on my computer so that they can track me wherever I go over the internet. It's, yeah, it's complex times we live in, Julie. It's frightening and it's, but, you know, it's funny, Stan, I heard, there's this idea of being what we call an early adopter. And um, if you're not afraid of new things as they come up, new technology, AI in writing and all AI and artwork and all of so being an early adopter, being willing to go, hey, this is change. This is coming. I'm learning new things. I'm not going to just put it on a shelf for later. Think, just be willing to be intellectually curious. I know you have no time, yeah. listener, to be intellectually mm -hmm. curious, but that's what the leaders do. And yeah. you listening to this are needed. And Secure the Village is a wonderful place to find people just like yourself who have a real distinct interest and expertise in this area and can help shape the future of what everyone else experiences and help help the people who have no clue what they're up against. And so we invite you to become more engaged with us at Secure the Village. And we have a lot of great information on our website on how you can do that. But it is super fulfilling to be in a group of people who are working towards something together. Yeah. Well, well, well said. I mean, our, we, we really have a mission to save the world. Our, our North Star, our North Star is, is people are securing all their information and all that blah, 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 because we want to, because it's the right thing to do. We know it's the right thing to do. So let me, let me leave you with a quote along the lines of, of what you just said, what you reminded me of uh, Bobby Kennedy, Robert Kennedy, uh, back in my youth, uh, said the future is not a gift 
The future is not a gift. It's an achievement. And that's that's the challenge of our time. We will get to a place where the answers are, again, simple. We always have. Uh, we'll get past this stage. But we'll get past this stage as an achievement. As we're going to work to get past this change. And as we said last week, that quote from Tom Stoppard, it's the best possible time to be alive when almost everything you thought you knew is wrong. We get to create this all anew because it's never been done before. How exciting. Thanks, Julie. So exciting. Thank you so much, Dr. Stahl. We will see you same time next week, folks, for Live on Cyber. And until then, stay curious, as they say, my friends. So thanks, everyone. See you soon.